how to let go of self-limiting beliefs. What on earth is wrong with that bird? Can we focus, please? A fish in a dirty river does not know that she is swimming in dirty water. Even if you tell the fish about the existence of another lake that has cleaner water and more food, the fish would not believe you or even comprehend it, because she has never experienced it. It will sound like a fairy tale, a beautiful story that the fish can dream about. But the fish itself won't be able to get to another water without outside help. This is an important transitional time for all of you. Our psyche works the same way. People who were raised in a toxic families, and let's stop here for a second, because most people misunderstand the meaning of a toxic family. So let's clarify this first. I can tell you from experience that the surest way up the ladder is to listen carefully. I'm not gonna talk about the extreme environment when a parent was an alcoholic or a child experienced some type of physical abuse. This is too obvious. I'd like to address another type of a family, a situation where a parent constantly criticizes and makes fun of a child, or when a parent calls their child stupid, sloppy, ugly, a troublemaker, or a loser. A toxic parent is a parent who is not available for the child when they need them. A parent who is not emotionally present for a child. A toxic parent is a parent who does not support their child in achieving their goals. A parent who places huge expectations on their child and expect them to be perfect in everything they do. You just described my whole entire life. You just described half of LA for Christ's sake. As a result, these children were forced to become the responsible one and expected to be little adults. Children who were raised in such toxic families did not have the feeling that I'm enough, I'm worthy, I'm smart, I'm talented, I'm worthy of having good things in life, I'm worthy of achieving my goals. Shit, Samantha, you just described my whole life. If you can say these things about yourself or if you have a goal and you cannot achieve it for a while, then you were probably raised in some type of unhealthy environment and now you have some limiting beliefs that you are not even aware of. So what, what, what should I do? What's next? What are my options? So let's go back to the example about the fish in a dirty river. You know the thing I said about the fish? So if you were raised in a toxic environment, or if you were in a toxic romantic relationship for a while, then you might still be living in dirty water without realizing it. Where did you say the fish was caught? What fish? You still live under the influence of your negative self-limiting beliefs and dream about a different type of life. When you're watching a self-development video on YouTube, your psyche perceives it as a nice fairy tale, a different life that you can dream about. It's like watching a Hollywood movie, feeling amazing after it, but in reality, the movie does not really affect your life. No. I had a dream about it, it was so real. A great movie, great meal, great sex, but the problem is... This is just a theory. It might have some effect on your thoughts, but does not change your life much. You're living in a plastic palace. None of this is real. This is not real. To make real change in life, you need to do more than just a theory. And exercises like guided meditations, tapping techniques, journaling or affirmation can help with small to medium goals. But if you really want to bring your life to a new level, then my advice is reach out for professional help. I can do it myself. I ain't dead yet. I'm concerned about the fish. Do not be like the fish who lives in a dirty river trying to find her way to clean water. Ask someone outside who can see the bigger picture and guide you to this clean, beautiful water. No one needs to take care of me. Look, I didn't ask for help because I don't need help. Your self-limiting beliefs were built or were created on your core level, deep in your childhood. Our self-perception forms before we turned five years old. 
That's why it's so difficult to recognize our limiting beliefs and work on them on our own. You can make some changes, but again, if you really want to move your life to a different level, then you need somebody with a professional education and somebody who can actually guide you. Anybody? Come on, what are my options? Yes. You need to find a good therapist because otherwise you will copy your therapist limiting beliefs and stack them above your own. So before choosing your therapist, spend some time researching about their experiences, ask about their education, ask about area in their expertise. What is your area of expertise? The most important point of this video is it's almost impossible to recognize and let go of your self-limiting beliefs on your own. Reach out for help and let a professional person guide you from a dirty river into beautiful clean water that is full of resources where you can meet other beautiful fishes and enjoy your journey which is called life. There is absolutely no reason why you can't have a good life, both happy and fulfilled. If you like this video, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome, I am a psychologist and a life coach. If you like my approach, please click like and consider sign up for private sessions with me. You know, this is the next chapter, sign me up. All the links are in the video description. And if you're new to my channel, then I have a gift for you. Five free self-development webinars, five free guided meditations, and five free healing exercises. All the links are below the video. Start watching my videos one by one. I have 500 plus of them on my channel. So I can guarantee that sooner than you expect, you will become a happier, healthier, and more successful person. And you will have the life that you can be proud about. Subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, give me a like, and we'll see you soon in my next important video. Bye.